Hey. So say hey to everybody. Um Yesterday I had a bit of a window. I mean, I still felt totally screwed up, but my symptoms were definitely better. Today they're awful again. They're even more awful since yesterday I had a window. Mental symptoms were down a little bit. I would say I was probably like... Uh, if my bad mental symptoms are, say it's 100%, I would say it was 20% better. Uh, it was fine with me. It was just, you know, I'm not constant. The anxiety was down a little bit. I mean, that could have just been it in general, the anxiety being down. But it seemed to be a good half of the day, which was really weird. Usually it jumps quicker than that so hopefully I'll start having more of those days today's a rough one I'm starting to, yesterday I thought I thought I felt a little better after uh, I took I took some Zyrtec I usually try not to take Zyrtec because I take the mirtazapine they clash a little bit at least it says so online I haven't really noticed it but I don't want to make myself worse so I took some Zyrtec and I thought that was the possibility that I was feeling better took vitamin C as well um, and today I did the same thing but it didn't help at all so it must have not have been the Zyrtec it must have just been a window yes I'm questioning it a lot because I don't get many windows so sometimes I just wonder what the heck happened but it was nice I didn't do anything with it I couldn't go out because I know the second I'd go out that window would close and I wasn't going to take that chance. So, I mean, I did stuff at home. I watched TV and I hung out and laughed and had a decent decent evening. Still rough, don't get me wrong. But having a touch mental clarity back, oh, it's well worth it. But that's about all that's been going on. I've been exercising at home. I got, uh, let's see, I got a Polar, Polar uh, M400 watch, which uh, with, I got the heart rate monitor with the strap. So when I exercise at home, because I won't go out because, I mean, unless it's a little walk right around here. But if I, I won't go out because I'm not risking uh, myself. So at home, I have a small weight, 10-pound weight I use. And that gets my heart rate. Um, you know, as you already know, my heart rate's so high anyway. But it seems like it might have been, it might be being a little bit better. Because I'm able to do, well, yesterday and today I've been able to do 15 minutes twice a day. Not constant, constant, because I can't. I mean, I just can't even exercise like that, being this sick. But, you know, just uh, with the weight or just trying to do some, you know, cardio, or whatever you want to call it, you know, just in my apartment alone. You know, I'm still getting that the highest about 160, and I'll stop at 160. And once in a while, it'll go up a little bit from there. But I try not to even get it there. Even though my heart doctor says I can go up to 180, but that's 100% 100, 100 uh, max heart rate. And I really don't want to keep doing that every day. I mean, that, that doesn't even make sense. He just says I could. I'd rather not. So, this is twice a day. But it, that ends up, exercise ends up making my head feel a lot worse. Because I would say for the past week I got the the burning and pins and needles in my head back. And the exercise makes that a lot worse. And the clarity gets worse. Everything gets a little worse after exercise. So basically, after I do this video, depending on what time that, probably got another 45 minutes, I'll take a bath or take a shower or whatever and then meditate, and that should calm it down a little bit. Sometimes it calms it down a lot. It depends how much I can get into it. It's been pretty hard lately. 
but I, uh, I do med meditation. I just have a bunch of videos that I downloaded off of YouTube. It's actually all from the same guy. Um, let me see if I can grab his name. It's actually my favorite. And, I mean, I'll always take, take, uh, suggestions. Here it is. His name is Jason Stephenson. Oh, uh, he... He, he's he got a ton of free videos you can watch on YouTube. I imagine he just makes money off of the ads. But but they're mostly free. I end up downloading them just in case they ever go offline on YouTube. But they're, you know, visual meditations. They, they've helped me the whole entire way. I started doing it when I was uh, getting off of Xanax. I mean, a good portion of the time I can't do it because my brain will not let me. But I try to do it the longest I can. I mean, because at first you get the five minutes of the flashing in your, you know, in my head and the the racing thoughts and the racing pictures and the things that, you know, your brain should not be doing. And that's really hard to watch. But if you stick with it and try to relax, it'll it starts to calm down. And that's what I got to do today. It's a really rough one today. But, uh, I've been still fiddling around with the monetization, I think it's called, from YouTube, trying to put ads on my videos. I can only, I can't put ads on my videos that I've noticed, uh, they always get can it always gets canceled if I have the word benzo in it. So you'll see me doing a lot of videos where I, I won't put benzo in the title. I mean, if it's for Benzo or Draw, then I will. I mean, I don't care that much about three cents. But as of right now, say I've got like 15, 16 videos. I'd say four or five of them have ads. But every once in a while, they scan through them, and I'll I'll notice one is one more is on, and or one more is off. It really makes no sense to me. I don't know if it's because I'm swearing. And I just don't notice. I don't know what it is. I can't figure it out. But I'm trying. As of right now, I've made like sixty-eight cents, and that sounds funny. But when you're when you're just doing this, eventually that'll add up and pay a, help pay a bill. And to me, that's really important. You know, I'm I'm still working from home, and my girlfriend's doing you know the other percentage of the job outside, and, and it's 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 a lot of work. So even though I take care of all the finances on my end. She's doing a good portion of the job right now, and, you know, any extra money bring, uh, bringing in is good. I almost lost it there for a little second. My brain just flipped around. Huh. Let's see, um, what's the date? It's Monday the 7th. The 10th, I'll be 11 weeks off, Benzos. That means... 17th will be my three month I call anniversary sure and health thought my head would feel better three months but as I always say I'm sure it has to do with the mirtazapine so we'll see hopefully just the benzo withdrawal will, will even get a little better so I can tolerate the remeron stuff better Anyway, so it's been raining the last few days, and to me, that's awesome, because being in Austin, Texas, it's always freaking dry, and it's always sunny, and being bright all the time is just brutal. I used to love it. I used to love the heat and the sun until I got this sick. Now it's like when it's dreary out and rainy, oh, it kind of gives me a lift. I like it. I have the window open. I love it. Moving to the Midwest, where it's going to be cold and cold and uh, dreary I'm actually looking forward to it again still packing for my move little by little getting the shit off the walls and it's been brutal it's been brutal yesterday was a better day I got some uh, some really odd stuff done in the apartment I got a lot of sound reinforcement on the walls I gotta get off it's not glued on, but it's 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 up there. And uh, since I'm dizzy, which I'm, mind you, I'm not as dizzy as I used to be. I would say two weeks ago, 
was the worst, but I've been it's it's gotten a little better. I got to admit, the pressure and the dizziness has let up a little bit. I would say a good ten percent. I'll tell you, that's a relief. You know, as you probably watching my videos or my post, I mean, I was going up for about three weeks straight, just getting worse, 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 and worse, and worse, and worse, and worse. I mean, days like this, I feel like, well, I can't get much worse than this, or this is the worst I've been, but... No, uh, this is pretty much my stable crap. I would say it's probably... You know, this is the worst I've been in my head. But also, yesterday was a really good day, and before that was a really bad day, so it's going up and down. It's not getting worse, it's just... You know, let's just hope for more windows to coming through. Uh it's hard to appreciate the windows as much when you're having a bad day like today. But I wanted to say something. I, I actually was going to reply. Well, I did reply on the Benzo Buddies forum. Let me just bring up my blog because I can't remember. I can't remember names. But, uh... Let's see. It all depends. I mean, if if somebody's actually the person uh, is actually watching this, you know, uh, Karuna. Assuming that's the way you say it, you know, made a long post, and it's you know it always makes me sad when I see other people that you know I communicate with on here, you know, having really bad days. But then I read things like you know. You know, you have to exercise through the stress and pain and, de and th you know, but just remember, you're lucky you're able to exercise. Because at this point, I'm just starting to be able to a little bit. You know, it's hell. Just don't take for granted the things you do have or the, or the steps you've taken. I try to do that myself. I try to... Not to take for granted that I've, you know, went to the heart doctor and the heart doctor went went good. You know, I'm happy for that. You know, it's hard to, it's really easy to get down. In this position, it's hard. I mean, I'm not even three months off and people are constantly telling me, oh, you're so early in the withdrawal phase. It's like, damn, you know, it's early it seems like it's been three years I've made people around me suffer more than I should and I'm going to continue to do it I'm sure but uh Karuna um hope you're feeling better today I did reply but you know part of this is you know stress and stress is so brutal stress and anxiety is what kills me if I could bring that all down which I try I'd probably feel a lot better. Well, I know I'd feel a lot better. All I know is my head, once there's stress, you know, today I was making a lot of phone calls, you know, to hospitals and doctors and insurance, and my head's, you know, it started flashing more. I started losing it. Ugh, but, sorry, I get the twitches. <laughs> I start to lose it. And then the rest of my day is so screwed up. But I have to do it. It's part It's part of what you got to do. The central nervous system is so messed up. It's so sensitive you can't even get stressed out a little bit. I mean, visually, everything's a disaster for me. But then again, it always kind of was. It's just about 40% worse than it used to be. So I know it'll get better one day. No, not 40%. Not even that bad. I've always had visual snow. So if you don't know what that is, definitely look it up. Um, I'll do a video on it. But I've had visual snow my whole life. And that's... And quick is... You know, I see static in my vision. Even with my even if my eyes are closed. It's static all the time. And it's constantly moving. And that makes a... That makes a uh, like a layer over everything so everything I look at you know I'm looking right now at my wall everything's kind of iridescent looking because I have this snow that goes over it and that leads to seeing trails and 
you know, hallucinations almost. Not like bad ones, but, you know, your mind plays tricks on you, just like you do in benzo withdrawal. So, being in benzo withdrawal, my, you know, everything gets a lot worse. So all that stuff is worse. It's a real mess. Because I can't close my eyes to, you know, have it relax. Nothing I can do about it. It's only gotten worse in time. But, you know, I'm 40 years old now, and I can still see, just not well. But since it's gotten worse, you know, I'm hoping in time, benzo withdrawal, you know, I hope that I'll, it starts getting better from that. And then, um, once I'm down or off the rim around it, I imagine that'll help too. I think the constant fatigue, constant fatigue makes everything worse though. You know, I'm sleeping because of the Remeron, but, you know, you know how it is. You don't sleep, forget it. Forget it. Let's see what else, if anybody else said anything. Uh, keep talking about coffee. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had caffeine in so long. So, no, I had a couple sips of coffee probably about a month ago freaking disaster couple sips disaster because my head's buzzing all the time sometimes it's better than some did like yesterday it wasn't so bad but oh my god so caffeine's a no-no i just recently the other day got decaf and honestly i can feel the caffeine in that that's just bad so basically i'll make myself coffee but i can barely drink it and it's decaf but I do take a couple sips just to taste it and, you know, gives me something to do and have. But, who knows? Yeah, it's frustrating. But anyway, that's, uh, before that, you know, before the last, you know, my window yesterday and stuff, things have been pretty rough. So I've been a little more quiet. It's just I haven't been wanting to go on the boards. I didn't want to think about it. I just, I didn't want to do the video thing. I just haven't been in the right mind to do it. But I had some time to waste right now, so I figured I'd give you an update. And I got to get back to doing some work and I get a little air. Humid, humid outside, but it's cool out. A bit uncomfortable, but not bad. Anyway, I hope you all have a better night. And, uh, yeah, keep in touch. I like having you around. Maybe one day after all, you know, years, t you know, we can all look back and, and laugh. I don't know how much we'd laugh, <laughs> but... Hopefully we could. I mean, for some reason we're able to do it now once in a while. Um, uh, we can look back and laugh. And it would even be a trip to somehow, you know, maybe get together with a few people and just talk. It's It's amazing what we're going through. It's amazing. I also wanted to ask about probiotics. Did any of you guys take probiotics? Uh, a lot of people say don't. But then again, I feel like I feel like a probiotic would be a huge help. I've been reading so much stuff about GABA in your stomach and these microbes that basically eat up all the GABA. And uh, I don't know what the hell I'm, <laughs> what I'm reading, but I'm just having a feeling probiotics would really help. But I'm also very scared to take them. Some people say, oh, I'll just try it and see how it goes. Yeah, but do you want, you know, when you have bad days all the time, do you want to make your bad day worse? No. Anyway, if you take probiotics, you know, uh, comment and let me know how it's going for you. Not during taper, but during withdrawal or in recovery. All right. We'll talk soon. Later.